So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have England against Wales. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beckley beside. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. for this game. the whistle and here we go Rooney Sturridge pumps it upfield Allen Ledley and it's Rooney dinks one in big chance Simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. to the good. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Ramsey looking up to see who wants it uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there look if he wants that ball to make it then he has to pass it with a bit more zip I think he knew as soon as it left his boot it was going to be cut out just lacked a little more power who's going to make this theirs Ledley Rooney with the foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. To hope it's nothing serious. Williams <laughs> Ram 
Ramsey. Lallana. Spoon forward. Allen. England are leading with half-time drawing close. Bale. Played out to the wing. Fires it in low. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Rooney. It's Rooney! Rooney prepared to hit it from distance. Not this time. And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. England leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. And we're off again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Now the pass. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. It's out of play for a goal kick. Ashley Williams. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Williams. So still just a goal between them. Lalana. This guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. Ramsey, England haven't made a substitution yet. And it's Lallana. He's gone for it! Saved only by poor finishing. OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. You can sense that sigh of relief coming from their dugout. Well, a warning like that must be heeded. They now know how good this team can be on the break, so measures have to be put in place to guard against that happening. Ramsey. Ledley, Allen, Milner, Kyle Walker. Got into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. A bit of throw in, final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and 
as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Sterling, ball's loose, who's getting there? Bale. Well, time is running out, they need to start pushing forward. To stoppage time, whistle due any moment. England just have to run down the clock. Sterling has been caught offside. The referee has seen enough. England hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. Thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.